Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to enable or disable the extension toolbar menu in Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So first thing is go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Once it gets there, we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of time for it to come up. And on there, we're going to go ahead and type in Chrome colon slash slash flags slash the number sign extensions dash tool bar dash menu and it should be spelt correctly let's see if I'm not misdoing this everything looks correct so let's go ahead and press enter and here we are simple mistake on typing this we'll probably want a lot to come up once you get to there all we're gonna go ahead and do is press enable. It tells us right here it will enable a separate toolbar button for the menu for extensions and it's available on Mac, Windows, Linux, and Chrome OS. So let's go ahead. It tells us your changes will take effect. Next, you relaunch. So let's go ahead and relaunch the program. So it pretty much opened up a new tab right here. So we have a regular tab selections here. If you have more extensions, you'll be able to have this to be able to show them or not. And here's the little icon for the extension for it right there. That means more extensions you have, you can hide them and unpin them if you don't want them to be displayed. You can put the ones that you like to select it. And it's that pretty much simple. And it also gives the option where you can just remove it from Chrome. Very good system right there. Now, if you don't want this extension shortcut to be there, we'll do it the same way by going to the same location by Chrome colon slash slash. Oh, look, it started coming up right here. I thought it was coming up. Let's see. We're going to continue typing this in. Flags slash the number sign right there extensions dash tool bar dash menu and here we are again we're just going to go ahead and press default and technically you can disable it too it'll probably come out to the same location and then we'll just go ahead and press relaunch again and it is pretty much gone and that's how you do it Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.